67 times, two Roman Catholic priests performed the major exorcism right on me. My name is Annalise Michel and this is my harrowing story. I was born Anna Elizabeth Michel on September 21, 1952 in Liebelfing, Bavaria and was a German student of religious education from a strictly Catholic home. When I was 16, I suddenly started having seizures and was diagnosed with psychosis caused by temporal lobe epilepsy. I also suffered from severe depressive episodes and was subsequently admitted to a sanatorium. Shortly after, I contracted pneumonia and tuberculosis. At age 20, I could no longer bear the sight of religious symbols and started hearing voices. Wherever I went, people with dead stares and devilish demonic faces constantly crossed my path. After returning from the sanatorium I became increasingly isolated. Eventually I suffered from depression and my school performance declined markedly. In spring 1973 I started hearing constant knocking in the closet and under the floorboards. In addition, voices whispered in my ears that I was damned and would rot in hell. My family was convinced I was possessed by a demon. They felt treating my worsening symptoms medically was insufficient and instead sought help from the Catholic Church. Eventually the priests Ernst Alt and Arnold Renz took on my case. They saw exorcism as the only hope for relieving my suffering and made a momentous decision for my life. Over the next 10 months they performed 67 exorcisms, lasting up to 4 hours each. During the agonizing sessions I was tied to a chair, unable to eat, drink or sleep. The priests identified six demons, including the devil himself. During this time I inflicted severe injuries on myself in various ways. For example, I tried biting holes in the wall, breaking a tooth. Some sessions were so intense I tore the ligaments in my knees and scratched up half my body bloody. Starting Lent on March 3, 1976 I completely ceased eating and eventually died on July 1st weighing just 31 kilograms, from malnutrition and extreme emaciation. After my death on April 21, 1978 my parents and both priests were convicted of negligent homicide and sentenced to six months in prison, later suspended. Tape recordings show I spoke in heavily altered voices and frequently screamed spontaneously. My tragic life story remains marked by spiritual battles of faith and medical mysteries leading to the controversial exorcism. May the chains of fear shatter and my soul fly free, as the light of purity and healing illuminates the way.